Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today we're continuing my 2023 top 10s as we are going to look at my number 7 cruiserweight in the world right now, the former WBO champion Lawrence O'Coley. Now before we get into that, if you could smash the like button, leave a comment, or subscribe to the channel, I really do appreciate any and all support that I can get as I continue to build my channel here. So Okoli um, entered the year number three and he drops four spots. Um, Okoli was, you know, he was coming off of like an unspectacular 2022, um, you know, where he defeated uh, Christoph Glowacki kind of in an uneventful uh, performance. And then pretty much uh, because of promotional issues, stay out of, stayed out of action the remainder of the year. So he kind of had, in, in one of his biggest fights against, uh, uh, I'm sorry, not Chris Glowacki, Mikel Slock, he kind of underperformed, you know, or, or it was underwhelming. So, you know, he was entering the year and he wanted to get back on track. So he would take on, he was a WBO champion, he would take on uh, David Light, who was an undefeated but little known mandatory challenger. And then another underwhelming convincing decision for him as he again stayed undefeated um then in in may late may he would take on fellow brit um chris billam smith and would surprisingly be upset by a 12 round majority decision i mean it was a big upset billam smith knocked him down about uh two or three or four times and uh, lawrence o'coley would lose a decision nobody really complained about it, it was a big upset O'Coley had an uh, had a rematch clause in the contract, and he went back and forth about whether he wanted to do it or not. And eventually, he decided against it and would not fight the remainder of the year. So it was a major setback for a guy that not a lot of guys were lining up to fight as is. So heading into 2024, going to be very interesting to see what he decides to do next. Um, in terms of his stats, he's 31 years old. He um, 19 and one with 14 knockouts, and his highest rating is number seven in the WBO now. And um, you know, I, I like like I said, it's gonna be tough for Okoli because he's so tall and lengthy, and his style's kind of an awkward style. It's gonna be tough for guys to line up to the front of the line to want to fight him. It already was, and he was a champion. And now that he's not a champion anymore. Um, is he gonna remain as a cruiserweight or will he test the waters at heavyweight? My personal opinion is that he should he should still try to take over at cruiserweight. He still get back into the mix. Because you got Bill and Smith, you got Riekpor, you got Gilberto Ramirez, you got Jai Pataya. I think some of these guys will be down to fight. They got some big guys, some good fighters, and I think O'Coley can just can get back into the mix. I really think he can. But he's got to find that confidence from that loss. You know, he really has to uh, find that fire because he was a fired up guy, ready to go. And then the upset happened against Bill and Smith. And I, I really think he was he was overlooking Bill and Smith. I, I think that's absolutely what happened. But be that as it may, he suffered the loss and he did not try to redeem that loss when he had it. And I think that was a mistake too. I think he should have activated that rematch clause and went back and ran it back with Bill and Smith and beat him to get his belt back because his belt was the thing that was holding him uh, to the attraction side, guys wanting to fight him. If you'd have beat Bill and Smith, maybe Richard Riekpor would have fought him or Arsene Goulamarian, which was part of the plan, would have been down to unify belts at some point or something like that. So going to be interesting to see how O'Coley bounces back. But I like Lawrence O'Coley. I hope he bounces back. I want to see him back in action. I want to see him try to make another run here at Cruiserweight before he moves to heavyweight, but we'll see what happens. So that's it. That's what I got. That's my 2023 top 10 on my number seven Cruiserweight in the world right now, the former WBO champion, Lawrence O'Coley. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment, or subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing. You've been hit with the truth.